today we're going to work on mounting our drawer faces on the drawers that we built in the last video. And we're also going to um, put hinges on our cabinet door and attach the hinges to our aluminum framing. So if you've watched any of my past videos you know that woodworking is not my thing and I don't have great luck with it. So um, today I'm going to show you another incorrect way to do things but it's a way that works for me. So these are the fixing brackets to, that attach the face of the drawer to the cabinetry. And these pop into place here. And I'm going to show you the way that I came up with for trying to position my faces on the drawer. Um, part of the challenge is that when you set the drawer front and face, put the drawer front face on, um, you've now covered up access to the back of the drawer to try and mark uh, where your drawer is supposed to sit. So what I am doing is using these small shims to space the drawer where I want it. I started with the drawer on the floor, so I, I had a half inch shim, because that's the distance I want from the floor. I put it under the first drawer, set the drawer on it, and then I use the technique I'm about to show you for doing the first drawer. And then the subsequent drawers, I use this technique. Here's my drawer face. But first, I'm going to show you an incorrect way to do it. I'm using grease and taking a tiny bit of grease and marking the end of a fixing plate. Now these fixing plates uh, normally don't have anything attached to them. What I did was I ran a bolt with a nut on it to stabilize it so it doesn't just push through. And that will help me mark the location. Another thing, you could use, I tried to use screws and pushing on the face to put an indentation on the back of the wood, but Bamboo is really hard, so you can't you can't dent bamboo using that technique. So anyway, I've got my grease on there. I set the drawer in place where I want it. Get it lined up. And then I push the drawer front in place. Now you've got marks for where to drill, drill your holes. Lines up pretty good. Looks like it dips a little bit over here. So hopefully we can adjust that. Alright, that's pretty good like that. On to the next drawer. I'll put a link in the description for the axle grease I used. Just kidding.
So regardless of how much crap you guys are going to give me for using grease to line this up, it actually lines up pretty good. I need to move this slightly to the right. So on these drawers, they're marked, so I turn this a little clockwise, that'll go right. That's not just axle grease, that's high temperature brake grease. Now it's time to mount our cabinet door here. There's a single cabinet door. And one of the challenges that I've been concerned about is mounting our hinge to the aluminum structure. So, so far with this entire cabinet construction, the aluminum has made everything easier, at least for me. Um, getting everything square, just getting it rigid and uh, able to accept all the hardware I need to put on it has been easier, but this is the one exception where I've had to come up with something a little bit creative maybe for, um, for mounting the hinges. So here's the issue. This is our mounting plate to attach the hinge and it sits flush with the face and the mounting holes are here, which is, if you look at the profile of the aluminum that we're using, we would be drilling this area here and your drill bit would have to pass through, attempt to pass through this. It, it wouldn't be fun and it wouldn't be ideal. So, what I've decided to do is go ahead and re-drill these locations on our hinge here so that it'll line with the slot. And then I'm going to use these roll-in T-nuts I can put in there and align them. And now, with newly drilled holes, holes I can put an M4 metric um, bolt through that to attach. And it just so happens that I've done one. So here's the end result. Here are the original holes. I don't have a drill press, so I just hand drilled, marked and hand drilled these new holes, put in my roll in T nut, and screwed it down. Now these. Um, I was concerned that maybe um, they would allow a little bit of movement in the hinge, but I've reefed on this thing and I will break the hinge before I ever get the mounting to slide. So this ended up being a really easy thing to do. It took me about a minute to drill the new locations here. And then there's a, another attachment that's going to go on the hinge here that's the Blum calls it the blue motion, but it's the, the soft close feature, so it sits here. So what I've done is not going to interfere with any aspect of the operation. So now I need to drill the cup in the back of the, the door to accommodate the cup on the hinge. I'm using a special hinge here because my door overlay, which is this dimension right here is larger than what most cabinets would have. So this hinge has to move out and away in order for the, the wood to clear this. So there's some instructions here for this maximum door overlay. And my overlay is about 33 millimeters. So using the math here, what we're going to do is we're going to bore this recess into the wood right here to accept this hinge cup. So I need to know how the distance from the edge of the door to bore that. So according to this, 
if I wanted a 41 millimeter overlay, then I would bore it 30 millimeters from the edge and so on. So mine's not on the chart. So the fact that going up two millimeters in overlay changes overlay distance by two millimeters, this distance by one, it's pretty easy to figure out that 33 a 33 millimeter overlay would require a 22 millimeter distance right here. So we're going to bore that scary hole now. You need a special drill bit in order to drill the recess in the back of these drawers. So it's a 35 millimeter. I'm using this one. I'll link all the stuff in the description. So I went ahead, I wasn't feeling very brave from doing this in the bamboo, so I have a cheap piece of wood and I went ahead and measured 22 millimeters from the edge and bored a hole and just checked it, even though this piece isn't the same size as that one, I'm not really able to check the gap between the drawers and the cabinet door, but I could at least see that, that putting this up to my hinge that I had the right amount of overlay, so there is a little bit of adjustment in the hinge. So, as a test, I put the real cabinet door um, up against the hinge, and I went ahead and just kind of drew around it to make sure that it was in the right ballpark. And um, it does measure in at around 22 millimeters, which is where that hole was bored. So, I know that I'm in the right ballpark, and I believe there's four or five millimeters of adjustment in the hinge. So, with that, I feel pretty safe drilling this hole. I have my mark here at 22 millimeters. It's a 35 millimeter bit. So half of 35 is 17 and a half. So this is the start, the center of my circle. And I just want to make sure that the outside comes to my 22 millimeter mark. And one thing to be clear, we're not drilling through this this is three quarter inch plywood and we need half an inch depth so there'll still be a quarter inch material on the front side and this bit is exactly a half an inch deep so we don't want to go past here on the drill bit okay here goes nothing Got my hinge cup recess board in there. This bamboo really drills nice. Um, so I went out and did a quick check in the van just to make sure that I'm in the right ballpark. And I am. So I went ahead and did the same over here. I laid the cabinet door up against the hinge, did some rough marks just to, to cross check my measurements. And here's my mark for 22. So I don't want to drill past that. So I'll drill out another one. Now with my hinge cups drilled, I can line up the hinge and screw it in. That was one highly successful day for me. This is a project that I've been dreading for some time. Um, there's several van builds that I follow online and people have commented, I've seen several people comment on how getting drawer slides and drawers and cabinet doors to line up and, and work nicely has been one of the most complicated part of people's builds. So, and I think I would agree with that, um, but it went surprisingly smooth for me and I put the cabinet door up. The only adjustment that I made is it needed to come up a little bit so what I was able to do, another nice thing about the aluminum, is I was able to just loosen these bolts, slide it up a slight bit, and then tighten them down. And now it's, it's good to go. So I have a few little adjustment issues. It lines up pretty good. But I can get it... Well, it looks pretty good now, but there is some adjustment on the cabinet doors or the cabinet door and on the drawers 
so I can dial it in even a little bit more. Um, I'm going to need to run this cabinet door through my friend's planer. Um, looks like the door's maybe just slightly out of square at the top, not at the bottom. So I'll probably shave off a little bit here and it'll line up, line up there. So other than that small alignment issue, I'm going to call these done. Actually not done. I have one more thing to add and that's these drawer catches that will that will catch on the aluminum and or catch on a on a catch right here and it'll keep the, the drawer from opening when I go down the road. But I won't be able to work on the van for the next couple of weeks so I'm not gonna have time to get to that so I think I'm gonna go ahead and push this video out to you guys. I know that a lot of people were curious about how I was attaching hardware to this aluminum. So hope this was helpful in showing you how I did that. And um, next time we'll, we'll add the hardware for the door latches and I'll go ahead and peel all the protective material off these drawers so you can, you can see how the stainless steel and the bamboo look together. And then after that, I'll also be working on a, on a countertop. So until next time, thanks for watching.